Hey guys, my name is Glenn. I got my real estate license in 1998 and I've been doing commercial real estate ever since. And today I wanna to talk to you about renewing your commercial lease. So I've been doing uh, commercial real estate for 20 years now and uh, no matter how many years you've been in your current office space or warehouse space or retail space, you still need a real estate person to advise you when it comes time to renew your lease. Now the landlord has a real estate person working for them but remember, they're not really a dual agent. They really are uh, working for the landlord. So they're gonna give the best deal for the landlord because if they don't, they will no longer be the real estate uh, agent for the landlord. Going over a bridge here, so there's some uh, road noise. I am uh, commuting home from work and uh, I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to vlog to you guys. So the advantage of having your own agent is they can help you negotiate and get you uh, a market deal. I've seen this for 20 years where people will have what they think is a great relationship with their landlord, then they have some issues and they ask me to look at their lease and uh, basically they have a very landlord friendly lease and uh, it certainly affects them tremendously as far as uh, renewing their lease. So maybe market in your area is that uh, you know you renew your lease for five years, maybe you get some free rent, maybe you get some uh, an improvement allowance, what we call TI dollars, to uh, improve your space. Maybe you need to add a conference room or add some more offices or redo some stuff in your warehouse. You know, you can actually get that money from the landlord when you renew your lease. Now, if you just renew it with him without a real estate broker, you're just going to get whatever uh, he wants to give you. Another thing, know the dates in your lease. You might have an option to renew that gives you certain rights. You may have to give notice if you leave. You may have to give notice if you want more space or renew at a certain rate. And if you miss those dates, you could be uh, it could be a big issue because now the landlord doesn't have to uh, keep you in the space anymore. So it's essentially a renewal option, and we'll get this into two other videos on renewal options. Uh, a renewal option is essentially a way to keep the landlord from leasing the space out from under you. But I can tell you maybe 1% of the time a tenant will actually exercise that renewal option because if they have, somebody just cut in front of me here, because if they have a good real estate broker, what we can do is get them what they need uh, outside of the option. A lot of times an option just limits you to a rent or what they call a fair market value rent, which will go by other rents in the vicinity. Unfortunately, it may not give you TI dollars, it may not give you free rent, it may not give you uh, some flexibility on your lease that you would need. Now, another thing when you're gonna renew your lease is you should have a real estate broker. Obviously, first of all, it should be me or somebody like me with 20 years experience or a lot of experience. And if you know what your business needs are, are you planning on merging with another company for a couple years? Do you see needing more space? So my job is to keep your lease flexible so if your needs change a couple years from now, you can do something about it. Sometimes a landlord may want to lock you up long term, but that not, might not be the best in your situation. A lot of real estate agents or brokers, you know, want you to renew for the longest time because their commission is based on the total rent. So they're always gonna to try to have you renew longer. If you should renew for five years, they'll push you for 10 or 15 so they can double or triple their uh, commission. The reason I've been doing this successfully for 20 years is I wanna keep that long-term relationship. Maybe only a one-year renewal is right for you. Maybe only a three-year renewal is right for you or maybe it is a five or a 10. So let the real estate broker like me, who's an, who's an expert on that, deal with that portion of the, uh, the lease. Another critical feature about renewing your lease is even if you're a thousand percent positive that you wanna remain in your space and you've been there for years and your landlord is the best landlord ever, you still should see what else is in the market. Maybe there's a better building for a cheaper price, maybe a more convenient location, maybe a newer building. Uh, you should always, I like to take my tenants, even if they're 99.9% .9 sure they want to renew, take them out in the market and look at a, a handful of competitive buildings. This will either make you appreciate your current space more, or it'll make you realize that there's a better option out there. And if anything, it creates leverage with the landlord. So how do you win in a negotiation? Leverage. If the landlord says, uh, you know, you've been here for 20 years, and uh, you're a great tenant, I'm a great landlord, you're gonna stay here for another 20 years, you're probably paying too much rent, especially if they escalate you at 3% a year or 50 cents on the dollar, you're in some place for a long time and you don't get a new base year, uh, you're gonna have a pretty high rent compared to uh, your peers or other people in the market. 
So it's very important to have a real estate broker uh, looking out for you. Everybody's trying to switch lanes into me this year. Uh, <laughs> So that's really important. And if anything creates leverage, your landlord sees you looking at other buildings, the buildings most likely that you're looking at could be more efficient, uh, they could be newer, sometimes even cheaper price, and you'll, we can get you a better deal because the landlord knows now you've looked at the market, he probably knows the other owners of the other buildings or his competitors, and now he'll know your company went to look at a tour, and he's gonna have to be a competitive to keep you. So if you wanna stay, it's worthwhile to hire somebody like me. You remember, we get paid by the landlord, so we're working for you for free at no cost to you. You have the right to have your own representation. Uh, the other landlord's broker can't tell you you have to use him also, because that's acting as a dual agent, or the landlord can't tell you you can't have uh, representation, because that's illegal. You can certainly have somebody, and again, you never pay my fee or any real estate broker's fee if you hire another broker, that's paid by the landlord. So there's no reason not to have somebody by your side. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see, and share this with your friends and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.